The GATT was signed in 1947. It's often called the General Agreement on Trade, Trade and uh, Treaties and Trade, Trade and Tariffs, General Agreement of Trade and Tariffs. And one of its many provisions is that a country cannot enact protectionist legislation. However, there's an exception to that general rule, and that exception is that if the protectionist legislation was enacted prior to the signing of GATT, then the protectionist legislation would be allowed. However, the Buy American Act was signed in, 1950, in the 1930s, about 1933, and GATT was signed in 1947, so presumably the Buy American Act is allowed. However, there's an exception to the exception in the GATT agreement, which states that a, if the country's legislation has been amended, the protectionist legislation has been amended, then that legislation is preempted by the GATT. So that would be our best argument. Because Buy American has been amended several times, most recently in the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act several years ago to, uh, as part of the bailout package, the Buy American Act was amended. GATT Therefore, GATT would preempt it, presumably. However, the question is, which we need to do more research on, is if that specific amendment is preempted or if the whole act itself is preempted. And that's the GATT argument. We have the general rule, which by American doesn't fall under the general rule. There has to be an exception to it. And then there's an exception to that exception, and that's where we are right now in legal analysis.